thought of having this start to make it a beast team. You'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 6% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, welcome to another evolution video. As you know, I've been doing these videos trying to help you guys out. Uh, make your decision on some evos that are probably the best bet to go for. Um, so we're starting off with the, uh, this is the slide tackler evolution. One of the upgrades. So, you do get a playstyle plus. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you do get a plus style plus called slide tackle. Uh, overall plus four. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, defense work rate goes to high. That's good for defenders. Um, and then you get a pace, passing, physicality, dribbling, and defending R for plus five. So, pretty decent requirements, pretty decent upgrades. And obviously, if you've watched all of my other evolutions, we go straight into the Premier League. Uh, Premier League does have quite a few good choices. My number one choice, as most of you will probably know, is Godfrey. Why is it Godfrey? Because he can play centre back. And he already has a crap ton of pace. So yeah, um, his pace goes up to uh, 87. Mm, 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 mm. 87 pace um, because he can play left back, but no one's going to play that card as a left back. They're going to play as a centre back and he's going to be absolutely disgusting. Good luck trying to get past that card. It's going to be nuts. So yeah, number one, you can see why I've picked Godfrey. I mean, it's a no-brainer. 100% no-brainer to pick that for if you are doing an Evo for the Prem. I, I, there's no give me if if you guys can think of anything else other than him, fairs, fairs. But I can see everyone doing Godfrey, um, number one, hundred percent. Yeah, no brainer. Number two, maybe surprising a few people. Um, he seems to have gone under the radar a bit. Uh, Kirkes. Uh, there's a few reasons why I've gone for Kirkes. Um, pace, fine. He's not a high rated card, but pace. Have a look at his tra uh, traits. If you have a look at his traits already, he has rapid, block, and slide tackle already. So that goes to a plus, but with rapid as well, block. And the upgrade on the card looks very, very good. It does look a very good card. He's already got a decent amount of physicality. Maybe not the most amount of defense, um, but still, I think that upgrade is quite decent. I think um, that's a little hidden gem. Because of his pace already, with 87 pace as a left back, he's actually very good. Because um, there isn't many really quick left backs in the Prem. So, 82 pace, up to left back. I mean, you couldn't run Godfrey there if you really wanted to, but maybe not. I mean, he has the same type of pace, so yeah. Um, number three of my choice is Reg uh, Regulion or Reg Regulion. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. I'm sure I've always called him Regulion. I'm hoping that's right. Um... Man United now, left back, uh, again 82 pace, uh, does have a very good upgrade on the card as a left back, um, and he's not that expensive to be honest, uh, which is good to see, um, yeah, it's a, it's a decent upgrade of a card, is he gonna, are you really gonna do it, I mean it is free, that's the thing you gotta think of, so there's my three options with the Premier League on them ones. Uh, a little side note, I was looking at Cucurella because uh, he can play centre-back and then I realised that he's only 5'8", so it's not going to work. So you can have a look at him, but 5'8 is not going to work as a centre-back. But then again, females are 5'8 and they seem to work as centre-back. So yeah, um, there's my three players for Le Premier League. Next we get into the League uh, um, League Oom. There is quite a few. Um, some people are going to be weird because... A lot of people are going to say Luddy was number one. I've not put Luddy as my number one choice for this uh, slide tackler Evo. I've gone for Ishmaeli. The reason I've gone for Ishmaeli is yet again is because of the traits he has. He has technical and flair. So he, uh, the traits are already pretty decent on this card. That is the main reason why I picked this as number one. Just slightly over Renner. Ren, uh, Renan Lodi Adi, Shake Lump Buddy Adi. Uh, to be honest, the cards are very similar, even though there's a rating difference. Um, but Ishmael is half, well, more than half the price uh, of uh, Lodi, which is good to see. So Ishmael is definitely the one I've put number one. One, because he's cheap. Two, because of his player traits he already has. And then obviously the player traits he gets. So that's why I've picked him as number one for the league. Uh, Lodi is number two. Obviously, he's the best left back in that you can use in this for the French League. Um, he doesn't, I don't think he has, no, he doesn't have any traits. This is the main reason why I didn't pick him as number one, 
uh, I picked Ishmaeli. Uh, there's one pace difference between Ishmaeli and Lodi, so obviously they've both got a decent amount of pace. They're going to be both pretty quick. The only issue is, is like most people probably have Nuno Menj because he's probably cheapest chips. I haven't actually looked at his price, so yeah. Number three is a wild card. Um, I'm probably going to butcher his name. Feel free to take the jokes. Uh, Diakate. Uh, it looks more like Dear Kite. <laughs> it's not going to be pronounced like Dear Kate. The reason is 75 rated um, right back. The reason he plays left back as well. The reason I've gone for that, he plays centre back. And it's actually a decent looking card. Um, the, he's tall. He's 6'2. Was he 6'2 or 6'1? 6'2, 6'1, something like that. Yeah, 6'1. He has the jockey trait. And his card is actually pretty too, be uh, pretty too decent. Pretty decent. Don't know what I've done there, but yeah. Um, 400 coins by now, happy days. Uh, f cheapest chips, French, can play centre back. Very good looking card when you've actually had his upgrade. You should have a gander at that card, but that is a wild card for my French league on that one. Um, there really isn't much of a choice in that league. That was just because I, I went for. Uh, speaking of choices, in the Serie A, I've only gone for two players because the rest of them are all stink. Um, they're just not worth it, really. Um, the two pe people I've picked is, uh, third number one is uh, Parisi. Uh, the reason I've gone for Parisi is a couple of reasons. He does have, he have 80 pace, so he gets a good upgrade in the pace. And he has the rapid trait. So he already has the rapid trait, which is good. And he does actually have a lot of green card, uh, green stats before he even gets the upgrade. Um, so yeah, plus five on quite a few stats there. Uh, 85 pace, which is the main one. Um, high, high, it becomes high, high. A lot of them become high, high. So just bear that in mind because most of them are like that. So yeah, uh, Parisi is my number one choice just because of the choice, uh, like his trait and his pace. Uh, that's the main reason. All the others are nowhere near that. that uh, not really near that pace. I mean, you got Zap Costa, but mm, nah. Uh, my other choice is Baragi. The only reason I picked Baragi for number two is he does have dead ball and whip pass. Um, he's not the quickest, but he has a lot of a lot of green stats, a lot of green stats, and with the upgrade, it, 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 his card does become a naughty-looking card. Problem is, 81 pace is still going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, he literally becomes a whole club club apart from his shooting. His shooting doesn't change, but everything else goes above 80. So yeah, uh, the, that's the only thing I don't, as, as I said, I don't agree with is he doesn't have a lot of pace. 81 pace is uh, quite a bit behind the curve, unfortunately, as a left back or right back. With the, I mean, if you use him, if you've got nothing else to use, you can use him and bring him on as a midfielder. A DM looks unbelievable as a DM, but that's entirely up to you. Let me know what you think about that one. There's not a lot of options in the Serie A. Um, there is, I have three options for the Bundesliga, Bundesliga option. This is probably one of the, out of the Premier League, apart from Godfrey, Ben Sabani is probably the best of a card to do as this um, tackler. Can play centre-back. The card is already, is already okay. But he, with that upgrade on that card, as a centre-back, high, high, he's decent. Very decent. He gets 80, 83, uh, 82 pace. Mm, Premier Bundesliga centre back. Very good looking card. 100% I'd say up there with the best choice for this uh, left back um, options. Unless, you, unless you're unless you doing it for a specific team that you support. So yeah, Ben Sabane is definitely up there with number one. And one of the top ones in this uh, slide tackler. Number two, I've gone. I'm I'm butchering the name because I never know how to pronounce it because from Denmark is Mahail. Uh, Mahail. I I don't get the A N E E pronunciation right. Um, pronunciation right. I don't even get myself to pronounce stuff right. <laughs> um, 83 pace, 77 left back, uh, left wing back. Uh, can play right mid and left mid. Because why not? Um, it's actually very good looking. He does have the rapid trait as well. It's another one that's cheap, cheap and cheerful, and he's quite quick, easy to do. I wouldn't complain about that one. Again, it's just his pace. He gets, he goes up quite a good. He goes up to eighty-eight pace, which is a uh, big. Um, it's probably one of the quickest cards in this option. So yeah, and um, I got another wild card in this one. I don't see many people doing it. It's khaki. I don't, I don't think it's pronounced khaki. Um, it's probably Casey. Um, he is a 76-rated left winger French from the Bundesliga. 
reason is, again, another wild card, could play centre back. And he is six foot one and does have the anticipate and intercept traits already. Obviously they're not the pluses, so they're not gonna be amazing, but if you actually have a look at that card with the upgrade, centre back, mmm, mmm. French as well. Got a few links there. Um, it's a different card, and it's just a, for other things, what other people were going to do. I mean, again, just have a gander at him. Just see what you think, and you can let me know in the comments below. And let me finish off with the La Liga. Um, the La Liga only has two options. The rest all stink, so it's not worth it. Uh, Tini's option one. Uh, Tini is 100% option one. Um, he's already got a, a semi-decent card. With the upgrade, it actually becomes sem quite decent. Um, with the 85 pace, 81 defending, 80 physicality. I mean, it's not bad. Again, it's, it actually becomes another Holy Club card, apart from his shooting. And if you actually look at all of his green stats, it's like, ooh. That's kind of nice, and obviously high, high. He's already high, high, so that wouldn't really make a difference. My number two option is just uh, Pedraza. The reason I picked Pedraza is again, he's a very similar card to Tierney. He's just a non-rare Spanish. So if anyone needs Spanish, that's the only thing I go in that one. The the rest of them stink. The rest of them honk the gaff out, so it's not even worth going near. Uh, normally, I do a world option as well um, for top three in the world. There wasn't any that really like stood out, tickled my fancied, that made a difference um, to any of the leagues that you would be handy for. There was none that really stood out. So, yeah, I do. <sighs> These Evos are cool, but there's not loads of options. I mean, apart from Godfrey and Ben Sabane, I wouldn't really go for any others, unless again you go in for your own club. But, yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think. Uh, who are you going to do as well? Let me know that. Um, hopefully this info helped. Hopefully it saves you some time going through all of this stuff if it did. Of course, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. If you want to see more Evolutions videos like this or anything to do with EAFC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy and obviously, peace.